Today we're testing tactile sand. Let's have a look. Hello there. What do you think about tactile sand, Wade? I think it's really fun. Yeah? How many hours or minutes do you think you could play with it with bathroom breaks and snack breaks? Because with the zip track, we figured out he needs those. Um, I think half of a day. Half a day? So like eight, nine, maybe ten hours? Mm-hmm. Yeah? Okay. Does the sand stick to your hands? No. No? Does it make them feel clammy or gross at all? No. And does it make your hands smell funny? No. No? What about cleaning up? Is it easy to clean up? Mm-hmm. Yeah? Does it all fit back into that tiny little bucket? Mm-hmm. It really? That's a lot of sand for that little bucket. Mm -hmm. What does it come with? It comes with this. You can chop. Okay. And then there's another one that you chop with. And another one that you chop with. <laughs> and then you roll. Then there's a roller that you can roll it with. Hmm. Okay. And it will fill. And if you mess up with these, you use the roller and it will fill the cracks that you messed up with. Oh, I see. With all children, they'll find a different idea or way to play with the sand. All those little tools are for different things. They are all different cutters, but you can also make designs in the sand, like using it as a Zen garden or another thing. Or a wall. Or a wall. <laughs> like I'm doing now. <laughs> so what do you like about tactile sand? Um, I like that you can like build all the stuff. Yeah, so it holds its form? Mm hmm like it is right now. Yeah. Do you think that it holds its form as well as Play-Doh does? Mm, no. No, not quite? No. What do you not like about tactile sand? I do not like how it's like, it like can fall on the floor. <laughs> and then if you have a baby brother... <laughs> He, which we do. Yeah, we, and he could, um, he could eat it. Oh, okay. So if you're not careful while you're playing with it, yeah. it could fall on the floor. And that's the only thing that you don't like about it? No, that's the only thing. <laughs> so can you show everyone how well it holds its form? It's so strong, Sam. It looks like it's pretty strong. Mm -hmm. The skinnier it is, the more sand you need to put on because that means it might tumble soon. So you're learning about structures right now then because you're building and you're learning that the thicker it is, the stronger it'll be. Yeah. That's pretty cool. And the more sand you put on, of course, will make it taller. Oh. So do you think this is better than beach sand? Mm, yeah. Yeah? Why? Because, because this sand sticks to, like, where, to, like, this, this tray that comes with. The tray doesn't come with it. We bought that at Dollarama. <laughs> <laughs> Who really cares? <laughs> and um, and then and it sticks to it, so it's really easy to yeah. to um build with it. Okay. And the beach sand, it just like when you need like you need to run and. Back and fo and forward if you're not close to the water, because mm. you need water to build with the beach sand, and this one you don't. So how cool do you think it would be to have a sandbox full of tactile sand? Mm, really cool. Really cool. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, I think we better go for now. Say bye. Bye. Have a nice day. Don't forget to play today.